What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about home gym equipment, more specifically equipment from a company called Bells of Steel. Now for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dylan Yakovitz. I'm the creative director here at Calgary Barbell and uh, this is my home gym. So the world has been in a bit of a mess lately. COVID has caused the closure of many gyms here in Calgary, as well as presumably most of the world. Now, I tried a lot of the home gym workout stuff. It was boring. I couldn't stick to it. I just, it wasn't for me. So I decided to invest in my own equipment. So I had two main things to consider when building this home gym, cost and size. I didn't want to spend a fortune on the gym. And this room here is about nine feet by nine feet and has 89 inch ceilings. Having relatively low ceilings eliminated a lot of my options for racks. I found that most racks online were around 90 inches with some squat stands being about 72 inches, which is a bit short for someone like me who's six foot six. The rack that I ultimately decided on was a Bells of Steel light commercial rack 5.1. This rack right here pretty much came with everything I wanted and then some. The rack is 84 and a half inches tall, so it fits my basement perfectly, even on top of a platform. It has sandwich J cups, roller J cups, strap safeties, band pegs on top and below, as well as west side bench hole spacing so that you can get your bench height set pretty much perfectly. Now with the purchase of the rack, I also bought a bar, a bench, 515 pounds of iron plates and pegs to hold my 45 plates on the back. So going over my thoughts on this setup, starting with the rack, this thing is awesome. It's sturdy, it's heavy, it's a flat footed rack with lots of space to walk squats out. I fit perfectly on my four by eight horse cell mats. And like I said earlier, it has a west side bench spacing so I can get my bench height set perfectly. There's also a lot of add-ons you can get with this rack like a lat pull down, dip attachment, landmine attachment, Bulgarian split squat pad. So if you ever wanna upgrade the rack, that's always a possibility. Now with that being said, I should probably mention some of the things I think can be improved on this rack. Number one being the hole numbering. So every five holes, there's a number that's laser engraved. I think it's okay, but I'm still misplacing where I put the J cup. Um, I would like to see it every hole, but uh, an easy solution to this is just using a silver Sharpie and filling in a number for each hole. It's super minor. Some people it might bug, other people they probably won't care, especially if you're the only one using the rack, you're not gonna have to move these J cups that often. Now the second thing that can be improved on this rack are the roller J cups. Don't get me wrong, I love the roller J cups. I'm gonna continue using the roller J cups, but they do have one minor flaw. And that's that if you look at the lip of the cup, it's all metal. There's nothing there to protect your bars knurling from scraping against it. As a power lifter, I don't really use the outer edges of my bar. And also I don't have a super expensive bar, so it's not an issue. But if that is something that is concerning to you, I would probably find some kind of plastic or soft material that'll protect your bar that you can just glue on the outside. Other than that, this rack has been perfect for my needs. I've been using it for the past seven weeks now. I did want to test it on a little bit of a higher end squat. So I had Bryce come over and squat all the way to hat, which is 515 pounds and the rack held up perfectly fine. So if you're wondering if this rack can, can handle a decent amount of weight, I would say with, with confidence that I can. As for the other piece of equipment, the bench feels plush yet firm. I compared to that have something like an ER rack. It feels good, it's relatively cheap. It has wheels, you can move it around easily. Um, it's not too heavy, so it's it's been nice to use. The pound plates are your typical pound plates. They're coated, non-calibrated iron plates. They have little handles on them and they feel pretty decent. So, I mean, not much to say there. Now that brings us into the last item, which is the barbell. The bar I purchased was the Bells of Steel Utility Barbell. It's a 28 and a half millimeter thick barbell, so comparable to a Texas Power Bar. But the knurling of this barbell is pretty underwhelming. It feels almost similar to what you'd find in a commercial gym. And I think that's fair seeing that this bar is advertised as just like an everyday barbell. If you are looking for a powerlifting specific barbell, you should probably look more into something like their bare naked powerlifting bar or any other powerlifting specific barbell out there. It's also worth mentioning that while the bar's knurling is not very aggressive, 
The bar itself is still decently stiff. You'll see in Bryce's working set of 420 pounds that there's very little whip in the bar. So while the knurling is comparable to a commercial gym bar, the stiffness is definitely much better. And there you have it, that's my home gym. It's small, it's simple, it literally does everything that I need it to do. So if you have any questions about anything you've seen in this video, ask down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in that next video.